tiny, tiny mackerel feather, five pound bass. It just goes to show, I'm just sitting there having a coffee. All of a sudden, I've seen all the seagulls having a mad frenzy. I could see the mackerel, didn't think nothing of it. Then a couple of guys come walking up. I said, any good with the mackerel? I said, yeah, got a bag full. I said, but even better than that. Just caught a five pound bass on a mackerel feather. So of course, when he said that, I thought, right. So I just quickly grabbed my gear, still all in a mess. Not sorted out from late last night. Just raced down there, L literally 10 minutes. I was up, washed, out, and there. I'm feeling confident, what am I gonna get? Put your answers in the comments before it comes up on video. What do you think I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get summers. Just show you down there. There's the seagulls having a frenzy. So there must be massive of white bait down there. If there is, the mackerel will be there. If the mackerel are here, as you know, could be all sorts here. Alright, right, little rattle there. Go on. Started twitching with a little mackerel. Put it all the way in, just got it to the surf and he come off. Went swimming back, which is a good thing. I might even uh, put some feathers on and get some fresh bait, you know. Twitching again now, look. More mackerel, probably. Come off again. So I've reeled that in a bit now, obviously. Broke the legs on the lead, so that's okay. Leave it out there for another few minutes. I might get my feathers ready. I am. I've just put some feathers on. I'm just going to cast out and see if I can get a couple of mackerel for some fresh bait. Don't need to be greedy, I've just took five. Right, I'll get back on the bait now. That's mackerel that I've caught, I filleted one up, I've made some nice baits with them. So that, this bait that's out there now, it's a whole uh, fillet of mackerel. Obviously, you can't get fresher than just catching it, so. Uh, yeah, on nice new sharp hooks. Not gone out too far with it. Probably about 
I'd say, guess probably about 70 metres, something like that. Might only be 60 metres, so it's not far out. Eh? I've had this fresh mackerel fillet out now for about, about 10 minutes. Nothing. Well, I said at the beginning of the video, I was determined to get something. I'm going to get something, I said, along them lines. <laughs> at least I've had some mackerel. But, uh, that weren't quite what I meant, to be honest. Right, at least I got some fresh bait. So the current time is quarter past three now. High tide is just after five or just before five. Nice and dry at the moment. Wind's picked up and a bit, a bit chilly now. Just had to put this jacket back on. But um, we shall just persist and keep on trying. This is the second fresh back one. Quite a big filly. I've had absolutely nothing. I'm going to try a ragworm. Got some nice king ragworm. So I'll try that next. For the moment, it's pretty dull. Keep trying. I've just cast this one out with a one large ragworm on it. We'll see what happens. No, no bites with nothing else. Not even the freshest mackerel. So we'll try this ragworm. I've just put some more fresh ragworm on. The last bit of ragworm that I put it, and as I was reeling in, I, I hooked into another mackerel. I'll let it go, I'll put it back. So, uh, the mackerel is still out there. I've put some fresh ragworm on that, but really, there's just nothing happening at all. There's a fisherman down there. He's getting the odd mackerel, but he's bait fishing now, and he's not doing anything any good. There's a couple of fishermen quite a bit further down there. No one's just getting any bites. Persistence, eh? Huge amount of seagulls down there. All fishing. Masses of them. All getting the white bait. Oh, they're catching. Wish I could. Another mackerel just as I was bringing in the ragworm. I'm going to put a mackerel squid sausage bait out and I'm going to put it in the shallows. That weren't far out at all. Literally in the shallows. So, I'll leave that for a while. It's quite a bit choppy now out there, as you can probably see. Right. Rod's moving about quite a bit, look. I think it looks like mackerel. Session. 
to go a little bit further out. This cast, the last two casts, close in. Let's get the mackerel attacking it. So a little bit further out. Hopefully, that will leave it alone. But wait and see. Nice here. You know, it's not cold or anything. Bit of a breeze. Still plenty of seagulls about fishing. The last few casts I've tried in close, nothing at all. So this one is around about. 90 metres out there, something like that. So we're just on high tide now. So we'll see what happens with that. You know when you get them uh, situations where you don't know what bait to try next. I've tried everything that I've got with me today, plus combinations of, so I've had squid, ragworm, uh, mackerel, uh, the freshest mackerel you can get because I've just caught it, so it was like caught and went, you know, mackerel fillets went out like 10 15 minutes after. And I've just sat down now to get another bait ready, and I thought, you know what, I think I've had enough today. Been out here a good few hours now. All I've had is mackerel. Some of them I was, wasn't even fishing for, they were being caught on mackerel and ragworm. I haven't got any black lug with me today, but I don't think it would have mattered to be honest. I think this is going to be my last cast. It's only just been out there a few minutes, so... It's one of them sessions, any? I'm really, I'm really confident today that I was going to, you know, get something half decent. But not even a dogfish, not even a dogfish, mate. The guy down the end there, he's been having problems, he's snagged up and all that. Um, he had a bucket load of mackerel leading, but he's bait fishing now. But, well, he's been bait fishing for quite a while, he's had a bit further down there. They packed up, they had nothing. Oh yeah, the one that was quite close to me there. He had nothing. So he's packed up and gone now. Uh, I'm going to let this one fish for a while, I say it's only just gone out there and I think I'll probably call it a day myself. Oh. <laughs> I'm right up there, good job I moved back a little bit. Look at this lot up here. You can see them all. Absolute loads. I can't even get them all on the uh, shot really. They don't show up so well. Oh, they go back. I'd say at least a mile. Still no movement on the rod. Well, as you can see there, just got my rod and the camera tripod to pack away pretty minimalistic I should be packing that away very shortly and call it a day thanks for watching all the best